Scotty finds himself staring down the barrel of a loaded gun with a police officer behind it. The police have kicked in his door with a warrant and have forced his family to the floor at gunpoint. They wreck his house, emptying every drawer, pouring out sugar, flour, and boxes of cereal on the floor. He keeps yelling, I didn't do anything. Stop pointing that gun at my kids. Although his phone is on silent, it starts to ring uncontrollably. His phone is seized. He's arrested, and he spends hours in a holding cell until he's finally questioned. He knows he hasn't committed a crime. Still, he's questioned about his friends, his sex life, his spouse, his finances, and even his social network. The warrant says that based on information from a confidential source, he's been supplying money to a drug dealer. The confidential source that they are referring to as a sophisticated device like Stingray that they use to track your phone to your house, to your room, and even to the exact pocket that it's in. The police have been tracking his phone and intercepting his calls and messages without a warrant. They are forced to lie on their warrant because the police and state's attorney's office have signed secret contracts with the FBI to not disclose how they obtained this illegal information. They are agreeing to hide information from you and your attorney that you are supposed to have. This contract means that they must lie or mislead a judge about where they actually got the information because they're not allowed to disclose that they got it from one of the Stingray devices. They even agreed to dismiss a case rather than tell the truth about where they got the information. Some of these devices allow them to turn off your phone, to make your phone ring when it's off. It allows them to track you in real time and even listen to your calls like a wiretap. They will use this information to get a warrant so that they can search and seize your phone. And when they search and seize your phone, they have every call, every text, every contact, every picture on your phone, including the naked pictures of your wife that you deleted. Scotty saves his passwords on his phone so they can access every app and look at every tweet, every Instagram, every snap. They can look at his bank records and even every Google search or navigation result. Scotty eventually learns that all of this is a result of him loaning his brother Pookie some money. Pookie is a known drug dealer and they thought it was a drug transaction. Without a good lawyer, Scotty may never know that one of these devices were used and that his rights were violated. The purpose of this story is to illustrate three quick lessons. The first is, make sure you hire a lawyer that knows about Stingray. Second, make sure you don't save your passwords for your apps on your phone and lock your phone, even though locking your phone may not prevent them from getting in all phones. And third... Don't text your drug dealer or crackhead brother about loaning them some money. God bless and be safe out here in these streets.